What's up guys and welcome back to part two of our stimulus series where we're talking about um, building some more advanced stuff with stimulus using Twitter as an example. And previously we built our character counter form for the tweets, but I want to show you a more advanced use case of this um, where we can reuse that same form inside of each of our tweets so we can do inline editing. So that's what we're going to dive into in this episode. So one of the things that we've done uh, so far is we created a tweet partial and this is going to be its own um, basically its own controller as well. So every single one of these that gets put on the page will have an instance of a controller. So this is going to be kind of neat. So we're going to have an app, JavaScript, packs, controllers, let's call it inline edit controller.js. So we're going to import uh, controller from stimulus. Uh, if you don't remember how to do this, you can either look it up or um, take a look at this other example that we had. Let me split the screen here, pull up the tweet form. So basically you just need to uh, import from stimulus, the controller, and then you need to add this export defaults, default class extends controller, and there you are and you are ready to go. So we're gonna save that file then we're going to add onto our um, tweets here. We can either do this with just straight HTML or we can use, um, you know, the tag helper from Rails to create the div. Let's just do another example here where we do it in HTML um, rather than doing it like we did in the other form. We did that with the Rails um, ERB helper. So let's do a regular example. So we'll have inline edit. And here when we click on the body, we really want to do our um, hide and show of that. So we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need our target. Let's actually move our created at up above um, so we can replace this inline in the same area with the um, text box and everything underneath it. 